teacher, Jessa Mayer of 5-1 Talk. So tonight, absent ng student ko. So we're going to explore 5-1 Talk, 5-1 Talk lessons. So come and join me. So good evening guys. Ito yung lesson namin sa 5-1 Talk. And it's all about what's what's on the plate lesson number four go for a picnic so in this lesson the student will learn to talk about food you want to eat okay so her goes inside the lesson so we have here a warm-up now you're going to go for a picnic and what we want to eat so you can say sandwich cheesecake or fruit and we have here another options or optional question what do you want to drink okay so that's the first step we have here a warm up so let's move to the next page so next page on next activity it's all about the new words and expression that the student will learn so we're going to go through the words and the phrases and we're going to make sure that the student knows the meaning and the usage of each words and phrases okay so you're going to tell them what are the meaning of these words and phrases and so you're going to let them describe what they see in the picture and after that you're going to let them read the sentence using the words and the phrases so for example we have our picture number one prepare so you're going to tell them what is the meaning of this word and after that you let them pronounce the word properly but if they don't pronounce the word properly you're going to tell them the words or the pronunciation of that word and you're going to send the ipa of that word okay and after that you let them read read the sentence read the sentence using the word for example prepare so they need to prepare for they need to prepare food for the picnic so you're going to for the picnic so you're going to let them say each words and phrases and each sentences okay so that is on page two which is new words and expression okay so let's move to the next page next page is three step three we have her useful sentences so you're going to let them arrange we have here let them arrange the sentence for example we have scrambled words here and you're going to let them arrange the sentence to make a correct sentence so for example we have here the word tomorrow have a picnic shall we so you're going to let them arrange those words so for example shall we have a picnic tomorrow and the answer will be oh that's a good idea okay and so on and so forth so let's continue let's go to the next page and number four we have her speaking naturally so we are going to have a role play and you're going to make sure that your student understand the conversation completely so you're going to emphasize and explain the words so we have heard the word uh, how, what do we call this one the phrases and words in red so you're going to let them read that one and explain to them what are the meaning of each words and phrases okay and after that you're going to have a role play switch role and um sort of question and answer portion so based on the conversation okay or the role play so let's move to the next page and we have here still on part uh, this one is part four it's still on speaking naturally so you're going to practice the conversation so there is a blank space here so you let the student to fill